Well, Heather, a new batch of numbers shows that the nation's foreclosure crisis is not over. The numbers of foreclosures between July and September surged at national, state, and local levels. If there's one bright spot, it's that Pima County saw fewer foreclosures in September than in August. Well, one trick to dodge foreclosures is a growing trend in southern Arizona. KOLD News 13's Bud Foster is live to show us why short sales don't pay off for everyone. 3,400 square feet, four bedrooms. Real estate agent Sharon Shin is showing us a house which would have sold for well more than a million dollars in its heyday, but it's been vacant for three years, and now the bank will probably take 50 cents on the dollar. When homes don't have people in them, they fall out of love, and then they fall apart, and it just adds to additional decay. We need to have people in our houses. And a short sale helps with that. In a short sale, the owner takes a loss because he bought the house at more than it's worth today. The bank takes a loss because the house will be sold at less than the mortgage. A short sale is better for the seller because it, it doesn't affect their credit as bad as a foreclosure, what it doesn't show up, right? And they, they can stay in the house where a foreclosure they would be evicted out of the house. You should see this refrigerator. Let me show you. Tucson Realtors are selling hundreds of houses in Tucson short right now, and many of the buyers are first-time buyers who waited for the market to cool. We're seeing stuff now that's listed at 300. They're taking 190, 200,000. So it's a big difference. That's a huge difference. Yeah. And what are your chances of picking it up at that price? Very good. The proposed buyers put their names on a list and sometimes wait six months or more. And even then, there are no guarantees. Look at this master suite. It doesn't actually get accepted until it's accepted by the bank. So you could have 10 offers out there on 10 different homes. And then whichever one comes through, if they accept your offer, then you're in. But even if you are in, there are still can be some potential problems there. Uh, first of all, the banks play hardball because they don't like to take the loss. So finding somebody that has some experience in short sales is very, very important. And then secondly, well, the IRS treats that loss that you take as income. So they tax you. So you lose twice. On the northwest side, I'm Bud Foster, KOLD News 13, live local, late breaking. All right, thanks a lot, Bud. And the foreclosure crisis continues to ravage the real estate market all over Arizona. In Tucson, thousands of families are struggling. People like Madeline and Dennis Troyan, five months behind, they're living out of suitcases and boxes in their own home. Facing foreclosure is taking its toll. I was crying all the time because they were, you know, if you don't pay, we're going to take your house. And um, I, it, was, it was like, no, 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 please don't take my house. You know, what, would, what are we supposed to do? I'll do everything. Coming up tonight at 10, how the Troyans ended up so far behind on their payments and how a home equity loan is costing them their house. That's tonight on KOLD News 13, live at 10.